Got up. Just about to can some fish, and I noticed that um my pressure gauge is not accurate. So I'm just going to show you a quick way how to how to fix that. So these are the tools we're going to use: a drill, a 1.5 millimeter drill bit, a knife, a pair of long nose pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a Phillips. So the first thing we're going to do is um, take out these screws. going to have this and that'll jiggle around a bit like that. We're going to take off this bolt at the bottom. And now we've got the cover. So I've already pre-drilled these holes because these are little rivets that hold in this plastic cover here. So now I'm going to get my knife and just run it along the side. Slightly prizing it. And I'm going to come along with my flathead screwdriver. Just prizing that a bit more. You want to do this but pretty gentle. Because um, you want it to work afterwards. So now we have this gauge like that, we can pull it out, we can see the mechanics behind there, how it works. So as this moves up, that's your pressure increasing. You know this one was set to there, and now I've set it back to there, and I'll just show you how I set it back to there. One main point with this is you don't want it negative, and what it means is it's pushing on that so hard that it's actually reading down there because you're not going to get an accurate reading. So if we look in this mechanism here, we get the long nose pliers. If we're to crush this down, it'll extend it, pushing that back to zero. So that's what I've done to fix this. And if we needed to go the other way, we could compress it and... Um, that'll take that reading the other way so if you go too far into negative you'll need to pull that back together and opposite for the other way so now we got it where we want I'm just going to put that back together slide that into there I'm going to come up with this cover it's good to find out where those rivets sort of meet and you'll get a tighter fit that clicks in. Okay, we're going to put this bolt back on in the washer. And we'll just put these back in. So that's pretty much it. That's how you fix a pressure gauge that isn't reading correctly especially for me because I'm living off grid and it's remote and this part has to come in from America so you know this would um, cost me a lot of time so it's about how to fix it yourself and get it back to where you want it thanks for watching